He body jacked like two people. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but not as bad as your mother. Oh. And you're the one under her foot for the last 400 years. Oh yeah, way to remind me of the fact that I was pretty much enslaved by the mother that killed me. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bitch. <laughs> Have fun with that. Yeah. My mother. Whore. <laughs> That's the way of putting it. <laughs> Very nice. If anybody here didn't catch the overtones, she screwed Greed. <laughs> Before killing him. Yes. She and screwed, screwed him back. She screwed Greed, killed him, and then brought him back. <laughs> if that doesn't say something sick and demented to you... It's a spring next to me. I <laughs> love <laughs> <laughs> <Mr. Necrophilia. laughs> And yet, you never ran away. <laughs> I tried! Why do you think I kept up for you? Yeah, but you also put your arm through my chest. Oh, and I apologize for it. <laughs> That's also a first. And he's also promised to stop killing people. Only because I need you to make my red stone so I can keep on living and having fun. Yeah, you still can't kill people. Bye. <laughs> I won't comment. <laughs> In any case, we both thought, initially, that ho-ho bastard, our father, was the craziest of us. Because this man is the sick demented bastard that like snuck up on people with giant masks and scared the crap out of them when they were eight years old. That we found not. out we found out recently look no, look no. Alphonse is the craziest of us. That is an understatement. Alphonse is the one who makes sick demented jokes about popping chocolate cherries. <laughs> and not just popping them, also melting the chocolate as well. I don't want to know where that is. No, you don't. And that's the cleanest of it. It gets wise. That's probably because our younger brother spent way too much time with lust. And we are getting cut off. Yes, we so are. So finish it off right. <laughs> I am not short! Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am going to have to uh, recommend family counseling for that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm required by law if there's anything, you know, specific in the family. Uh, wasn't me who reported you. But tell that to Alphonse, but he's cross country in Shane right now with his girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 we will work out. Yeah. <laughs> Up next, we have the very funny Marcus Spear. Yeah. Marcus Love you, Marcus. Ooh. Yeah, uh, so I was going to start off by uh, talking about my favorite anime, but seeing all these people up here, I'm already having a old metal panic attack. So I like anime, obviously, and um, a lot of people ask me, hey, when did you first get into anime? So um, it was about when I was 12 or so. I was like, oh, yeah. It was around when I was watching, but uh, I was watching probably Dragon Ball Z or something. You know? So I was watching it, and I was like, hey, uh, big bro, can you come check this out? And we watched a couple episodes, and it was like, yeah, I was like, hey, yeah, yeah, do you like it? And he was like, no, it's pretty gay. <laughs> So, uh, you guys heard this cool show called Italia? Yeah! <laughs> on the anime! <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so I got an actual funny story from that. Um, for a living, I uh, review anime. Uh, I am a new news for website. And so, um, uh, one time we were assigned, uh, hey, we have this section of DVD uh, called Bible Black if you want to watch that. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, I actually did end up watching that. I ended up watching all of it. I saw the first uh, disc or so. I know there's like New Testament and all these other seasons. So, I was watching and it's like, I don't know if you guys seen that or even just heard horror stories about it. That's a good plot. That's a good fucking plot, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so there's a shot. Okay, so, okay, yeah, sure, someone gets a shotgun in the fucking pussy. Okay, whatever. It's really interesting because it's just black magic and it's really cool stuff. But I just, 
So I'm watching it, and people are misunderstanding me. And so here I am, in the middle of a, you know, it's, I'm in college, and so I'm like in an empty computer room. And it's like, okay, well, uh, between my classes, I might as well watch this. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and uh, yeah, someone comes in right at this one part with uh, his the horse dick demon, I think, or something like that. Okay, in the context, it's... It's not that, it's not that weird. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm watching it, and this person comes in and they're like, Oh, God, I'm sorry! And they're like, Oh, fuck, my God. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm packing up my shit, I can't even sleep. I'm just like, oh, okay, I gotta get out, I gotta get out. So I'm going, and I'm like, I'm going, what's that? I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So no one sees me, oh, she's got a teacher, she's laughing, oh my God, oh. I'm like, yeah, I gotta got it. <laughs> so I'm walking out, and that whole night, I end up getting out, and no one talks to me. And uh, I'm just sitting there, and I'm sitting in my room. <sighs> okay, so tomorrow's gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> Get to school tomorrow. No one says anything. No one comes up to me. No one ever, from that point on, comes up to me and go, "Hey, are you guys doing in the, you know, library to watching the anime?" The, the, Horse dick, you know, like, <laughs> no one ever came up to me, and I was like, oh, good, I escaped that, you know, finally, for one time, I actually got away with jerking off in the public library. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up.